All right, now one thing before I do actually check my, my Hotmail account for this, uh, for this new email from Magic Jack is uh, th there was a thought I had uh, obviously about the uh, internet connection speed. The Magic Jack uh, device um, requiring a high speed internet connection to, you know, to get you that dial tone, um, thus being a, a voice over IP device. Um, I, I did read through some articles that um, there's an assumption that you should have at least you know a one megabit per second uh, connection. So if you're on a high speed connection, uh, a lot of people have seen the best uh, results with at least that minimum speed, a one megabit per second speed or higher. And so um, I use Cox high speed internet out here where I'm at. Uh, a few of the people that I've known, uh, some clients that I've worked with through my business use Quest high speed. Uh, they're, they're using DSL Quest and there may be a concern where if you've got the, the El Cheapo uh, Quest DSL package, they I think they're still lingering around the 512 kilobit per second speed, which is half of the one megabit per second speed. So you might be getting really subpar results if you're on a Quest DSL on their lower tier service. Um, this is uh, speedtest.net, which is a pretty useful website that anybody could jump on to actually do a, a quick check as far as what their internet speed is. Uh, independent of, of what the their internet service provider is telling them. So um, let's see here. We'll just bring up a uh, quick test. Okay, it's checking, checking the download speed right now. And it's doing the upload speed. Okay. Right, and then it just gives us a summary screen. So essentially, this all this is saying that uh, the quick test that I did, I, I'm getting uh, 6,238 kilobits per second, which translates to six megabits per second download, and close to about a three megabit per second upload speed. So this should suffice, obviously. Uh, from what I just said, the one megabit per second is what people are recommending for a, a decent um, uh, service with this uh, Magic Jack. And I, I've done the speedtest.net website a couple of times here at my office, and, and I do get a, a range between this and about seven or eight megabits per second, too. So this should work. So uh, let's head off to our email. Uh, let's see here. Where's our hotmail? There we go. Let's check out this, this email that we're supposed to be getting here. Let's see here. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, nothing in my inbox. Probably filed as junk since uh, I've got a pretty tight uh, filter going. Okay, there it goes, a magic jack. Confirm. Well, since this is my junk folder, I've got to bring it up to my inbox so I mark it as a safe email. So future emails will go to my inbox directly. Important, please reply to this email right away if you blah, blah. Do not have to take action if you do not want to make changes. Uh, okay. So it's just saying good news. It's the 2008 product of the year. Yada, yada. Magic Jack is okay. Free trial jacks will not be billed to your credit card until... 30-day trial expires. You will, however, place the unauthorization on your credit card. May appear as pending charge for the free trial. Okay. If you don't have the Magic Jack, simply return it within 30 days, no question asked. Or if you don't love the Magic Jack, we know you will. Haha. Uh -huh. Simply return it within 30 days. Okay. So order number, all that stuff. Blah 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 blah. And there's the total down there. Let me scroll down a little bit here. So free trial, so their confirmation email. Okay, it looks good. Please save this email. So this this is a order confirmation that I don't have to really act on. Like some other product registrations or purchases, you've got to click on it to confirm. Uh, so it looks good. So at this point, I'm just essentially waiting for the, uh, probably take a week be and wait for the actual product to arrive at my doorstep. So uh, that's about it. So the next video should be coming out in about uh, next week once I 
actually test out the product. Uh, one other thought though, let me, I'm going to go back to the Magic Jack website. Uh, obviously for 20 bucks a year, uh, I won't be expecting too much um, customer service. If you're the type of person who's, when you sign up for any type of service, um, phone service, cable service or whatever, or internet service, you're expecting a whole load of customer service and help and people to sort of hold your hand and, and lead you through things. Uh, I don't think this Magic Jack company would really do that. I'm sure for 20 bucks a year all they're really going to give you is uh, just some online resources as far as help and stuff like that. Um, okay, they look looks like they do have a facts and knowledge base area where they've just got online information and frequently asked questions, stuff like that. So um, if you're the type of person who really needs a human person to talk to like all the time and you expect that you'll be having a whole bunch of problems with setting up this device, then you might not want to uh, try out a device like this. And, and well, I take that back and may, maybe it still might be worth it being just 20 bucks a year. So who knows? Everybody's different. So just I thought I'd uh, point that out. So um, all right. So now we're just going to wait for the uh, little dealie to come out and, and be delivered to my doorstep.